In this video, we will look at ZTNA model again, and specifically at how Fortinet checks device identity using client certificates. There are three main actors involved in establishing device identity through client certificates. The 40 client, 40 client EMS, and 40 gate access proxy. An endpoint with a 40 client installed obtains a certificate when the endpoint registers to the EMS. 40 client automatically submits a certificate request and the 40 client EMS signs and returns the client certificate to the endpoint. This certificate is stored in the endpoint client operating system certificate store and is used for subsequent connections. 40 client EMS synchronizes the endpoint certificate information with the 40 gate. By default, client certificate authentication is enabled on the 40 gate access proxy. So when the 40 gate receives an access request, the 40 gate challenges the client to identify itself with its certificate. The 40 gate then grants or denies client access based on the certificate match and 40 gate settings. Next, we are going to the demonstration part. We will show the following three aspects how to locate the certificate in the endpoint certificate store and verify the certificate matches on the 40 gate and the EMS. Then we will show how to check certificate authorization settings on the 40 gate access proxy. And finally, we'll show how to connect to a web application from the endpoint client. So now we are going to locate the user certificate on the endpoint client. Open Manage User Certificates. Open Certificates in the User Certificate Store. Choose the certificate and view its properties by double-clicking the certificate. Looking at details, you'll find the certificate number of the certificate, which matches the record on the 40 client EMS and the 40 gate. Next, let's look at the client certificate details on the 40 gate access proxy. Open command line interface on the 40 gate and use the following command to get the information on the endpoint. Here you will find the client certificate number and the 40 client ID. Verify that the certificate information on the 40 gate matches the certificate information on the endpoint. Finally, on the 40 client EMS, locate the device under endpoints all endpoints. In the configuration section, find the fields for the 40 client ID and ZTNA serial number. ZTNA serial number corresponds to the endpoint client certificate number. The information in these fields should be matching the information on the 40 client and the 40 gate sites. Next, we will show how to check the 40 gate settings for certificate verification. Let's open command line interface and show the settings for the 40 gate access proxy. By default, the access proxy is configured to enable client certificate verification and block empty certificate action. We will provide more information on the empty certificates in the next section of our demo. Next, we will go to the endpoint and initiate an HTTPS connection request to an internal web server. Open 40 client on the endpoint computer and verify that the endpoint is registered to the EMS server. Open a browser and enter the address of the server and the access port. The browser will prompt for the client certificate to use. Select the EMS signed certificate, then click OK. Here, the 40 gate access proxy verifies and authenticates the client identity and grants access to the requested web page. If instead of selecting the certificate, the user cancels the prompt, the endpoint sends an empty certificate to the 40 gate access proxy. By default, 40 gate access proxy blocks the endpoint access if the endpoint presents an empty certificate. The setting can be configured on the 40 gate using the config firewall access proxy command. And this concludes our video. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit video.fortinet.com.